Hi, everyone. Welcome to Miss Angela's classroom. I am Miss Angela, and we are here for Tuesday mini class. So welcome, everyone. Guys, I have a question. Do you guys have a dream in the night often? What is a dream? Dream is something that you see or something that you do while you're sleeping. You're sleeping, but you might be you might be seeing something or you might be doing something. You're not actually doing it because you're sleeping, but you can see yourself doing something. That is called a dream. Dream is because uh, we have a dream because why, uh, why are we, while we are sleeping, our brain is still working. Our brain is still working, so it can make us to see something or to see ourselves doing something in the brain. Yeah, even though we are sleeping, the brain is still working. So do you guys have a dream often? I have a dream a lot. Even last night, I had a dream. How about you? Think about it. While you're sleeping last night, did you have a dream? Or if it's not last night, when was the last time that you had a dream? Can you still remember what happened in your dream? Because for today's activity, I want to draw the dream I had last night. So you, if you, if you didn't have a dream last night, you can do, you can draw the dream that you had last time. Okay, so to do this activity together with me, you will need a paper, a white paper. I had a small one left, so I'm gonna use the small one, but you can use a bigger paper. So we need a paper and we need a marker. It's not just regular marker, guys. For today's activity, we will need a little special one. This is permanent marker. Permanent marker. So you can ask for help for uh, you can ask for help from any grown-ups around you. Say uh, say you need a permanent marker to do the activity. Okay, and we need a paintbrush and a bit of water. So I have a little container of water. We will need a tissue paper, not a thin paper, thin tissue paper. But this is a little different from the regular tissue papers. These are called bleeding tissue papers. Bleeding tissue papers have uh, more pigments in it. So yeah, make sure that you have bleeding tissue papers in different colors. Mm, and that's all we need. Okay, so if you have all the, all, all the materials ready, you can do the activity with me now. So I'm gonna uh, put my paper on, the, on here, but you can do it on your table. Right. I'm just putting it up here so you guys can see. But you do it on the table. So my paper is here. And with the permanent marker, I'm going to draw the things that I saw in my dream last night. So guys, in my dream last night, I was making a rainbow, like the rear size rainbow, like big one. So I'm going to draw a big rainbow here. Think about what you saw or what you were doing in your dream, and then you can draw it on your paper.
Okay. So this is my rainbow. And you know what? I was making a rainbow out of Play-Doh. So you can say it's a dream, right? Because in real life, we cannot make a real size rainbow out of Play-Doh, right? Who can make a rainbow, the real rainbow? Only the nature can make the rainbow, right? So anyway, it was in my dream. So I'm gonna draw Play-Doh over here. These are my Play-Doh. Okay, and do you know what else I saw in my dream? I saw a giraffe. The giraffe, but the giraffe was green. Yeah, I saw a green giraffe. So I'm gonna draw a giraffe over here. Giraffe has head, it has ear, it has a long neck, right? Long neck and body. It has a tail. And it has four legs. One, two, three, four. And it needs eyes. And the nose. And mouth. Oh, and giraffe had uh, patterns, right? This is my giraffe. Giraffe, play doh, rainbow, and what else did I see in my dream? Hmm. Ah, uh, nothing else, but it smelled really good. In my dream, it was smelling so good. Maybe there were flowers. I'm gonna draw some flowers. These are my flowers. This is what happened in my dream. Is your drawing ready, guys? What did you draw? You can draw anything you saw in your dream. So if the drawing is ready like this, we're going to move to the next step. For the next step, we will need the water. Water. You're gonna dip the paintbrush in the water. And we're gonna start from this part, from left to right. So this is left, right. We're gonna start from left. We're gonna wet the paper with the water. So dip the brush in the, in the water and just paint it on the paper like this. A little more water. Like this. And then you're gonna grab a tissue paper paper, bleeding tissue paper, and you can rip it. Rip it and then put it on top. Because the paper is wet, the tissue paper is going to stick on the paper. All right. If it doesn't stay, you can wet the paper again. Wet it again. And then we can stick it. See, it sticks, right? 
All right. Um, oh, I have to save green for my giraffe because my giraffe was green. All right, so um, I'm going to save it for my giraffe. And I'm going to use, maybe I'm going to use light blue. So this water is working like a glue, right? There's no glue here. I'll put more water here. And thank you. And I'm gonna put I wanna put a uh, pink over here at the bottom. I'm gonna wet the paper here. My pink paper. I think I could put the whole thing just like this. All right. And then up here, I'm going to use my dark blue color tissue paper. So put more water. And then put blue. All right. And finally, my giraffe. My giraffe. Oops. My giraffe is going to get green color. Okay. Okay. I have a little blue left, so I'm gonna add it. You can put it on top too. My paper is coming off, so I'm going to put more tape. I'm going to put a little a piece over here. There you go. So if you covered the whole paper, if you cover the whole drawing, the next step is we're going to put more water on top of the tissue papers. Okay. Not too much. Keep the brush in the water. And then do this. Remove some excessive water. And then put gently, okay, gently so they don't come off. Gently put more water. So we want to wet the tissue papers. Like this. You have to do it gently, otherwise the tissue paper is gonna come off. So gently, gently wet the tissue paper.
if you see a dry part, like this part is dry, right? So put more water. Mm. Okay, I think mine are I think mine are all wet. Okay, so I'm gonna put my paintbrush away. Check your tissue paper. Are they all wet? Make sure they are all wet. And we have to give uh, about um, one or two minutes. We have to wait one or two minutes. So while we are waiting for this to transfer some colors, how about we learn a song about a dream? I found a fun song about a dream. So let's sing that song together. It's getting a little dark. <laughs> so we're gonna sing this song together. This is called, I Had a Dream. And it's from Dream English Kids. So this song goes like this. I had a dream last night. 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 I was running and running, jumping and jumping, swimming and swimming. Climbing and climbing. I had a dream last night. 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 It's a fun song, right? How about this time? We change the words a little bit and then talk about our dream. Good. I'm going to try it with my dream. Okay, so. I had a dream last night. 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 I was making a rainbow, making a rainbow. I saw a green draft. I saw a green draft. I had a dream last night. 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 How about that? I made a special song for my dream. Did it sound good? Yeah. You can change the words like me and then explain your dream with the song. All right, so I think we can try to take up the tissue papers now. Um, so I'm gonna, I have a little plate over here and I'm gonna take up the tissue papers and then put it here. Uh, you have to put it on something. You have to put it on a plate or put it on a napkin because this tissue paper has lots of pigments. And then if you just put it on the desk, it might uh, color your desk, okay? So make sure that you put it on something. So I'm gonna take up the blue one. Let's see what happened. Oh, do you see the blue color here? Okay, the next one. Oh, it's a light blue. Can you see my light blue? It's a little bit too light. I can see it though. Light blue and some green. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at that. The pink came up very well. And the green is good too, right? Oh, that's a dark blue. Oh, look at my green giraffe. Look, oh, I'm happy that my green giraffe came out so nice. Can you see? Okay, maybe I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring it close to you so you can see. Look. Look, the light blue didn't come out very well, right? I think it's because the color was light, right? It was a light blue. Right. Like this, it was very light. So maybe it had only light pigment. That's why it doesn't, uh, that's why it's not very, very dark over here. But the green tissue paper was good. It transferred uh, lots of green pigments here and there. Look at my giraffe, nice, right? And my flowers got nice pink color, pink purple color. And my rainbow got a little blue color over there. So you can, you might have different colors of tissue paper, right? And you will have different, you will see what colors come out nicely. Which, which color come out dark, which come out uh, light like this. You're going to find out. So yeah, this is my dream. Nice, right? All right, so okay, so this is uh, this was today's activity, and I hope you have fun drawing your dream and coloring your dream with the bleeding tissue papers like that. And if you like the dream song, you can sing the song too. All right, okay, so that's it for today, and thank you for coming for today's class and I'm going to see you guys next Tuesday again. Okay, bye.